the Trent thing. Because I haven't really spoken about the I haven't really had the Trent discussion on here before and I feel like it's a good time to, to have it. So I'm gonna do the whole shebang. So on the weekend, City versus Liverpool, uh Trent gets the equalizer for, for Liverpool, 80th minute, scores and shushes the crowd. The reason why this is controversial, and if you go on Twitter, you know why it's controversial, is because a lot of people were saying that Doku, who was his direct opponent for most of the afternoon, dominated. And I think FOTMOB and SofaScore have both given him given him man of the match, gave him an 8.8 rating. Um, I think Trent Alexander-Arnold got uh, dribbled past seven times. Doku had something like 18 successful dribbles or 15 successful dribbles or something along those lines. So the, the long story short is that Doku got the most out of Trent. And I think the Trent discussion is very nuanced. It's very nuanced and very complicated because the only reason it's a debate and the only reason it's as, it's a, it's as big of a conversation as it is is because of the competition that he's versing. And by competition, I literally mean direct competition for people in his position. Right back in these day and age is stacked, especially English right backs. Trippier, Walker, Reese James and Trent Alexander-Arnold. World-class right backs, Right? And even, even across the board, you've got Hakimi and you've got like these guys, right? So th- there is world-class right-backs left, right, and center. And I think, I mean, I mean, the topic of world-class has also been quite hotly debated on social media recently as well. I'm not going to get into that debate right now. But m- the point stands. Really, really good right-backs. Trent, there's no denying that Trent is an unbelievable talent. Unbelievable talent. However, he is in a really, really weird situation where Trent's, Trent's, so Trent is, like, how do I describe this? Trent is in a really, really weird situation where the position that he plays actually exposes his biggest deficiency, in which is is his one-on-one defending, right? It would be like playing Jorginho on the wing when his biggest deficiency is pace. So that is why when you analyze Trent and when you speak about Trent, it's very nuanced because he's unbelievable. He's so good. But the position he plays doesn't get the best out of him. However, the position that he plays, he was one of the best, if not the best in the world at that position for two years. So it's like, is he is he actually any good? I think he is. Is he a right back? I don't think he is. I think his best position, I think to get the best out of Trent is to play him as a central midfielder in front of a, in front of a single pivot on the right hand side. That's his best position. But realistically, does he have the spatial awareness to be a central midfielder? Can he integrate himself to completely transforming himself back to being a central midfielder after playing there at youth level? Like, what is it? What is the situation with Trent? I just don't know. I think the criticism on him is very harsh because I think he's very good. But also, he. He can't really defend. Like he can, but like I think I think the the debate the the talk about him not being able to defend has been blown her stupidly out of proportion, right? Because he's not bad. He's not objectively bad at defending. Is he elite? No. Is he very good? No. Is he good? He bordering. Is he average? Probably that's the most apt word. He's an average defender. But he's exceptional in almost every other area of the ground. Which means, how do you... Like, how, where's his best position? I think one-on-one defending is most important for fullbacks because they're the positions that get isolated the most with wingers. You don't really see central midfielders having to defend one-on-one very very often, right? You, you don't see centre-backs defending one-on-one very often, right? So if you move him into a slightly more central position... Naturally, players flood around the ball, players fill space, and a one-on-one situation all of a sudden becomes a two-on-two, three-on-three, three-on-four, etc., where he has help, right? And you would very rarely get dribbled past as a central midfielder as well. So I think maybe that's a solution, just play him in midfield. And also in the same vein, do we stop judging him as a right-back? Do we start judging him as a midfielder because I know towards the back in the last season and at some stages of this season he's played as a right back but has like tucked in and played as like a quite centrally a little bit how City have adopted that like that 3-2-5 formation or a 3-2-4-1 formation similar to, to what Klopp is doing right 
or it's it, it's being mirrored a little bit at, at Liverpool with with Trent being slightly more central. But I just don't know. I just don't know. And and I think I had this thought the other day, uh, and it will never happen. But I think I think there's a world in which England could play Kyle Walker right back, Kieran Trippier left back, Declan Rice central defensive midfielder. And Reese James and Trent Alexander Arnold as two central midfielders. It would never happen because you've got Bellingham, you've got Henderson, you've got um, Foden, you've got Madison, you've got all these players. But imagine how I think that would be so good. I think that would be so good because Reese and Trent complement each other so well. Think about it. Think about it. If Reese James and Trent were a central midfield partnership, they would complement each other so well like you have Reese, who is the bigger body a little bit more powerful stronger in attack or better defensively but can also ping a pass around and can make those late runs into the box and be like a little bit more of a true box-to-box midfielder whereas Trent can be that elegant fluid playmaker occupying the half spaces breaking lines with stupidly good passes and crossing balls into the box like De Bruyne it would be such a good double pivot like it would be uh, unreal. Maybe with like a Declan Rice sitting just behind them to give them a little bit more defensive security, or even like a Madison or a Bellingham playing in front of them to give them a little bit more attacking fluidity to like to connect the front line and the midfield a little bit more. I don't know. It will never happen, but I just feel like it'd be unreal. I, I'd love to say that. It, like, yeah, I don't know. Just a little bit of a thought, but yeah. Anyways, I don't know how, I don't know how that's anywhere, anywhere related, but yeah, I just think I think that the, they they find themselves in similar situations, Trent and Reese, where. They probably aren't suited to being right backs, but that's just where they play, so they're being judged as right backs. Whereas I think we should judge them as footballers. I think Trent is an unbelievable footballer, just not an unbelievable right back. Um, not any, well, not currently. He was, he was, he was one of the best right backs in the world, if not the best right back in the world for a couple of years. So, um, I guess it also helps the fact that Liverpool, like the more Liverpool dominate games, the more he's on the ball, the more chances he has to show his class, and the less less likelihood that he's being targeted one-on-one. Um, and also when Van Dijk's playing really well, when Matip's on form or Gomez or Canate or whoever, um, if, like, it also doesn't help so they don't really have a DM. Like, when Fabinho was one of the best defensive midfielders in the world, it also helped him as well because Fabinho would drop, centre-backs would split, Trent would push up, and it'd create that 3-2-5 formation. Um, that's common as all hell when he's four three threes. Um, in football these days, because it works, that's why, so yeah, um, I just wanted to have the Trent conversation, because I feel like it's quite interesting, I think overall, he's not bad, he's not a bad footballer, but also, he's not exceptional right now, but also, he is very, very good at football, is he very, very good at being a right back right now, probably not, but like, yeah, you, I don't know, you, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just going to, that's, that's all I'm going to do, just that, like, just hands up in the air, like, I don't really know what's going on.